A decision four years in the making. Guilty of the offense of manslaughter. The verdict in an Air Force officer's murder trial, leaving family, law enforcement, and prosecutors dissatisfied. It's not what we hoped for. Tonight, Kent's Five is looking back to the search parties determined to find Andrew McDonald. Trees and woods and creeks and valleys and, you know, dangerous areas. To the discovery that led to her husband in handcuffs. Is there something you would like to say to your daughter? No, I don't have anything else to say. And to the moment that changed this week. She's dead on the floor. You know, we just had a fight. Obviously, I'm going to get blamed for this. Team coverage of Andre McDonald's confession and conviction starts right now. Andre McDonald now faces up to 20 years in prison for the death of his wife, Andreen. Our team has new perspective on the verdict. Alicia Niavis has reaction from Andreen's father, but we begin with Matt Houston. And Matt, prosecutors are disappointed with today's results. Yeah, he sees the district attorney wanted murder. He got manslaughter instead. Despite Andre McDonald's confession, his defense team successfully argued the Air Force major did not intend to kill his wife. Andre McDonald's attorneys painted the Air Force Major as smaller and weaker than Andreen. They showed jurors video of her carrying him and working out. All that to convince the panel that Andre tripped and kicked his wife in self-defense during a violent fight. She spit and charged at him, he says, when he told her he'd divorce her because she cut him out of a lucrative business deal. I just gave her a few kicks, a couple of kicks to like knock the wind out of her and Get it it's still not clear how Andre McDonald died. The medical examiner testified there were hammer marks on her bones from blows that could have been fatal. But McDonald said he buried her body and returned later to beat the corpse out of anger. Four months after that, a man discovered Andre's body burned too. Andre McDonald did not intentionally or knowingly murder Andre McDonald. Whether he was reckless it's for you to decide. For 10 hours, jurors were deadlocked. So today, Judge Frank Castro essentially encouraged them to meet again and try harder. You're instructed to continue deliberations in an effort to arrive at a verdict, which is acceptable to all members of the jury. That statement is called an Allen charge, and it's technically not allowed in some other states. Defense attorneys often argue the move encourages jurors to reach a guilty verdict they would not have otherwise. More likely than not, there are a, a handful of holdouts that are saying not guilty. And so if it results ultimately in a guilty plea, the defendants are going to say, I was denied due process because the jurors were not allowed to deliberate. They were coerced into making this determination. Less than two hours after Castro's instruction, the jury reached its verdict. McDonald's attorneys could use the Allen charge to try and throw out his manslaughter conviction, though it's not clear they'd want to since they successfully convinced the jury to come down for murder. Alicia Niavis continues our team coverage. Moments after that happened, Alicia, the sheriff did something you and I have not seen before. Yeah, Matt, it was definitely a first. As Andre McDonald was being put back into his cell today, Sheriff Javier Salazar told one of his deputies to remove Andre's handcuffs. The sheriff then gifted those handcuffs to Andreen's father. I just want to say to the world, thanks for their very support. Minutes after the verdict came in, Andreen McDonald's father, Paul Anderson, addressed reporters by sharing words of gratitude. To the security forces, to the firemen, the vo people who volunteer their time, take time out from their family, to come out to search for my baby in 2019. And we still have some of those people that are still standing with us today. I want to tell you that we really appreciate it. Thousands of hours went into the search for Andreen. Hundreds of people from across the city showed up day after day in the freezing cold, ready to cover any inch of ground left unseen. Five months after Andreen went missing, a hiker stumbled upon her charred remains on private property six miles from the McDonald home. Thank you very much. 
God bless you. Ultimately, it's no secret that the, the verdict is not what we had hoped for. Under criticism during the trial was the sheriff's handling of the case. Evidence could not be shown to the jury because it was obtained illegally by law enforcement. Right. We know that that's what defense attorneys do is they attack every, every little shred of whatever they can hang on to, whatever they can glean on to. Uh, to, to shed some sort of a doubt. The sheriff says he respects the jury's decision, although it is not the outcome he wanted. Absolutely, I'm disappointed in that. However, if, if the family is able to find peace and closure, uh, then I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy with that outcome for them. As deputies escorted Andreen's family out of the news conference, her father showed reporters Andre's handcuffs fastened to his belt strap. Maybe it's just a, a small reminder of him that he can take back with him home and know that at the sheriff's office there's a whole bunch of people that poured their heart and soul into finding justice for his local. The sentencing phase begins Monday. A judge will determine how long Andre McDonald should serve prison time. He faces between two and 20 years. Reporting live tonight, Alicia Neyavis, Ken's Five. Thank you, Alicia.